Hello guys. In this series of videos, we will learn about socket I/O. We will first learn what is socket I/O. We will then create a project in Node.js to create master client connection in socket I/O. We will then learn and implement namespaces in socket I/O. We will then learn about room and create a room. In socket IO, we will learn how to create multiple rooms in a project. We will then learn how to send messages from one room to another room. We will learn how to create rooms dynamically. And at last, we will learn how to connect socket io client without using a browser so to follow the video you must know about javascript and some knowledge about node.js and express.js so what is socket io socket io is a real time bi directional low latency event based communication it is also implemented on different languages including java node.js sorry node.js is the favorite and swift python etc so these are the three advantages low latency by directional and event based communication for socket io low latency means it can handle large amount of data it can transfer it in minimum amount of time by direction means it can transmit data in both direction and event based communication means it triggers uh, event uh, whenever anything occurs so it only sends the data when an event occurs socket io uses web socket protocol and it allows it to uh, create real time applications and create uh, cross platform applications these are the major advantages of the web socket so i guess that is enough introduction of the socket io and let's get started coding First of all, we will initialize a Node.js project in VUCD port. So, npm init. Next, 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 next. Don't need any of these fields. Let's create a new file index.js. Uh, I have opened the socket IO website and we will follow the uh, method from the website so that you can understand the documentation as well. So we will first install npm express sorry express yes. Copy and paste the express.js code here and test. Node index. So express server is running on port 3000 and you can see hello world is here. Now let's stop the project. Now this code defines that we will send an index HTML file whenever localhost 3000 base URL is hit and there is no endpoint. We have created an index HTML file to paste all the HTML code 
that socket IO documentation has provided. Let's paste it here. Now let's run the code and check. As you can see, there is a message bar. Now let's draw socket IO. We need to initialize and import this socket IO package in our code. So IO is initialized and this code will create an event of connections. So whenever a client is connected, it will display user connected. So let's run and check. Let's refresh, and as you can see, it is it has not shown anything in the console because HTML file does not have socket IO initialization. So we need first socket IO initialization in HTML as well. So get back to our documentation and copy this code and paste it at the end of the body now let's run the code and check as you can see the console is printed showing that the user is connected or a client is connected now we also need to show if client is disconnected so copy this code and paste in connection event so this Whenever a client is connected, this will also initialize an event of disconnection. As you can see, whenever I connect, it say users connected, and whenever I close, it say users disconnected. Now we will implement a messaging algorithm in socket IO so that we have we can send uh, some message from HTML code to our server. So let's paste the code here. This will implement a function that whenever user submits. it will send the message to the server and we have to paste this code here this will initialize an event named as chess message so whenever client triggers this event chat message server will receive the message from the client and display it here now let's run and check Hello everyone. Okay, it has not shown not it has not shown. Okay. 
okay i didn't refresh the html earlier now it is showing okay we have tested that client is sending the message and server is receiving the message Now we will learn how to reply back since we have received message from client to server. So we will now reply back from server to client. So we will copy this io.emit chat message and paste it in our chat message event in Node.js. So whenever chat message event is triggered from the client this will also create an event from the server named as chat message and send message to the client we will copy this chat message in the html this will receive data from the server whenever chat message event is triggered and display in the list view in html so let's check okay i have to refresh the browser i guess okay the message is now displaying on the list view in html so let's open another browser and run localhost 3000 and check so whenever we send the message from the client to the server server will generate an event and send back to every client as you can see so that was the lesson for getting started for the socket io in the next tutorial we will learn about namespaces in socket io thanks for watching and stay tuned for the more videos